Now, on High Tide. Showtime! What the hell? Are those of you watching at home? This is not a reenactment. This is live. Oh! Oh! Did you get that, baby? Yeah, I got that, Lenny. When was this guy released? That's just it. He wasn't. We love to see ourselves on TV. That's the whole idea here. You can do that for us, can't you? How does it feel to be a hero? Live and in person, Joey Barrett is dead. <laughs> had salt water in my ear. Yeah, I did. You snaked it, bro. Oh, friend, if, if you say I snaked it, I, I mean, then, then I snaked it. Hey, hey, hey. Why don't you let me and my lady buy you a beer? No hard feelings, OK? Huh? Yeah, OK, man. No All problem. Right. Cool. <laughs> Next time. Stay out of my way. Load a new inventory out back. He's checking out the competition. What competition? A new K5 store just opened up down at the strip mall. Oh, one of those chain stores? You should see this place. They've got everything. What has this place got that ours doesn't? You mean other than air conditioning, a professional well-groomed staff, superior selection, and crazy low prices. I mean, look. Besides all that, customers. Yeah, but it's so impersonal. I mean, it's just like the one in L.A., which is like the one in Santa Monica, which is like the one in O.B., which is like... Face it. That is what the consumer of today is looking for. A comfort level, a familiar environment. Of course, a pasta bar would be nice, too. Yeah, but where's the... Human contact. Hi. Welcome to K5. I don't know if it's human, but I think we've made contact. My name is Amber. Can I help you guys find something today? 
Well, hi, Amber. Uh, we're just looking. Everything in the store is 20% off. Yeah, we noticed. We've got some great surf shorts, excellent bargains, great selection. They're right over here. Come on. Oh, they're two for $20. Well, that's really nice, but really? Oh, yes. Oh, these would be fantastic on you. Now, I've chosen a little bit bigger size because you're looking rather buffed out there. Would you hit the gym this morning? What do you think? Well, I always did like Joey in a nice cotton blend. Let me get your dressing room. Right over here. OK, here you go. Now, I'm going to be waiting right here when you're ready to model those for me. Sexy. How about the big guy? I'm going to need just a minute for you. Come over here. What do you think, Lenny? Perfect. I'm going to keep it. Good. 14 is your change. Go. Watch my back. Hi. Well, let's be cash or charge. Um. How about Smith and Wesson? Everybody on the floor! Now! Get down! Let's get back. any watches, jewelry, wallets, anything you have of value into the lovely K5 bag. Thank you for your cooperation. <laughs> Easy, cowboy. Bad boy. Ah, I love shopping. Hey, give me everything. Come on. Give me wallets. Give me everything. Come on, fucking speed it up. Let's go, let's go. And here we go. Wallets. Watch. Thank you. Hey, 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 oh, hey! I'm sorry. I didn't do anything. Hey, come on. Thanks, handsome. Hey, folks, this will all be over in just one second. It's been a pleasure shopping with you. That's my girl. Come on, let's go. Hey, hey, hey. Nice place. Gotta have it. What do you think? Is it moi? K5 Surf Shop, a popular sports and beachwear shop where just moments ago an attempted robbery was thwarted by one of La Jolla's own citizens, Joseph Barrett. How you doing? How does it feel to be a hero? A hero? <laughs> I, I just did what any normal person would have done, really. Oh, that's untrue. That is so untrue. If it wasn't for this guy, God knows what could have happened here today. At K5. That's 1564 West Monroe, only two blocks south of Marina Drive, where all items are 20% off, now through Saturday. Well, that's great. You finally get your 15 minutes of fame, and you use it to plug the competition. Well, it's not my fault. It was that sales girl, man. She was shameless. Do you have to be wearing their product? 
Well, it's not like I planned it. At least I got him to give him to me for free. Oh, whoopee. Not that it mattered much. I mean, two for 20 bucks. Can you believe it? How does it feel to be in here? They're here. not even talking about us. I, I just did what he normal person Because that done. surf shop geek is hogging all our glory. Oh, <laughs> uh, should have done him when I had the chance. <laughs> Then they'd just be interviewing his grieving relatives or something, you know? Well, I thought you said we were going to be famous. We man. will! We will be. Oh, baby, we will be, baby. We will be. Smile for me, honey. <laughs> it's showtime! Make it Sid and Nancy from the K-5. No ad-libs. So you guys are just co-stars. This is my show. For those of you watching at home, this is not a reenactment. This is live. Oh. Oh. Did you get that, baby? Yeah, I got that, Lenny. Ah. Now, Mr. Barrett, how does it feel to know that at any moment I can end your pathetic life? Our audience would like to know. Just take it easy, Lenny. No ad-libs! Am I gonna have to wake him up? Oh, Lenny. Come on, we're taking the show on the road. Those of you at home, this is not a reenactment. This is live. Did you get that, baby? This tape was dropped off at one of the local television stations sometime last night. Looks like our friends aren't too afraid of getting caught. It's just a matter of time before this guy melts down completely. We're doing everything we can, Mick. I had Russ scan a picture of the video. We're circulating it now. The girl called him Lenny. Yeah, well, it'll help. What about the TV station? Mick, I've asked them not to play the tape. At least for now. Lenny is clearly looking for some attention. I say we don't give it to him. But that could just set him off. Mick, you have to let me play this my way. All right. But until I get my brother back, we're partners on this. We've got an ID on the suspect, Detective. Name's Leonard Dibner. You got an address? Just his last one, St. Benedict's. The nut house? Why am I not surprised? When was this guy released? That's just it. He wasn't. They didn't even know he was missing until this morning. idea. Why don't you just let me go, huh? Mm, uh-uh. Can't do that. You're an endangered species. So you're one of the last real-life heroes in captivity. Not bad looking, either. Really? I think I do. Yeah. Why don't you see if you play with it? Okay. That's it. Show them how we treat our heroes. to play with me. Uh, I'll tell you what, let's play hide and seek, huh? You untie me, close your eyes, count to 100. You got a promise not to peek. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
I guess we're just gonna have to go get him his own playmate. So, how's it feel to be all tied up? Huh, you know? I give you a second chance. You don't need a playmate. You have me. Ah. What about her, Hero? She live on your speak? Or, or, maybe that one. Huh? You don't have to do this, you know. Oh, no, no, I don't know. I, I know I don't have to do this, but I want to. You think this is fun? <laughs> and don't worry, man. I promise you, I will get you something nice. Bam. Be right back. Where do you think this place is? Some kind of a warehouse or something? Wait, stop. Run it back. Okay, there. Play. You know that sound? It's a foghorn. It's one at the entrance to the harbor. They gotta be near a boatyard somewhere. Let's get on it. Why aren't they showing it? What do I have to do to get him to pay attention to me? I don't know, baby. Retail sales are up nationally from a year ago, and the unemployment rate is low in okay. five years. On the weather scene, a tropical storm is stirring up. Hey, what's your name? Sue. Hi, Sue. I'm Joey. Look, yeah, everything's gonna be okay. How can you say that? Always is. Does this sort of thing happen to you a lot? Uh, depends what you mean by a lot. More than once? No, definitely. Sue, look at me. When I say it's gonna be okay, I mean it. Okay? That old crazy Lenny there never made it to Eagle Scout, huh? Lousy knots.
and I see we're not that easy to catch. Oh, and by the way, Joey and I here, we're coming real tight. It's like a family here. You know about families, don't you? Mick! I think we look pretty good together, don't you? Smile, guys. Smile! It'd be real nice if you could take these tapes we're making over to the TV stations. You see, we really like to see ourselves on TV. Get it? You can do that for us, can't you? I really appreciate it. Because I get such a bad attitude when I don't get my way. Tough childhood. Long story. I'm not going to go into that now. I'd hate to have to hurt somebody. This guy's a real loose cannon. I have a feeling his fuse is burning pretty low. We can't play those tapes on TV, Mick. I know. That's why we're going to find him. What's that? Looks like a wedding album. Well, it's the guy sent him out. Hey, I know this place. Mick, it looks like we have some blood here. Man, what the hell is their plan? Officer! Here's the plan, lover boy. We're gonna see just how good a bad guy you are. We're gonna make you one us, Joey. <laughs> you go in there and rob the store, and then come back out with the money. Or... There's gonna be a big fat hole in this little chick's head. It's your choice. Imagine what a bullet would do to the pretty little face on this thing. <laughs> oh, you do a good job, Joe. I might have a surprise for you when you get back. You got three minutes. Or. Bam! <laughs> Toodles. Be okay, Sue, you hang in there. Now, don't you be lying to her, Joey. <laughs> Let's go, Joey. Actually, can I get uh, a pack of gum, please? Uh, a couple AA batteries, uh, a box of cigarettes, and a couple lottery tickets here, and a slushie, and one of these, and all the money you got in the cash register, please. OK? Now, now, now listen, OK? You're not going to get hurt. This isn't uh, really a robbery, really. Really? Not a robbery? Listen, I know it sounds strange, OK? But I don't have a whole lot of time to explain. So please, give me all the money in the register, and I promise you, you're not going to get hurt. You betcha! Ow. Hey! Help! Call 911. Got a gun. Listen, help. Give me all the money in the register now, or somebody will get hurt. Woo! You're gonna kill me! Ow! Ow! Give me that! Stop hitting me! Get out of the way! This car 196, we're gonna be on a code seven. Maniac! Woo, help! Cherry slushy, right? Ow! Out the throw! Freeze! Put your hands in the air! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! This gun's not loaded, okay? Don't shoot! Get us killed! Yeah, it's all on tape, lover! <laughs> ha! You just been baptized! 
tries, boy. How's it feel to be on the other side? <laughs> You stinking money. Well, we did it, baby. We got ourselves a real gang now. I love this. Just like Bonnie and Clyde. Hey, you okay, butterfly? Pick up in your head. I'm as confused as you are, Mick. Joey did not shoot at a cop, I know that. We've got an officer who ID'd his picture and another man who's wounded. Yeah, well, they're wrong. There's got to be another explanation for this. Uh, ow, that hurt! Hey, hey, hey! I gotta do this, all right? I gotta stop this bleeding. I'm not feeling so good. My stomach hurts. Maybe we should just go to a hospital. You just need some food. So we'll just get you something to eat. Okay, hey. You're gonna be just fine, butterfly. You're gonna be just fine. All right, now, Mark, I did a real nice job on those bandages. Huh? I'm just sleepy is all. Hey, 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 you're gonna be fine. All right, that bullet just grazed you, baby. Now, look, listen to me, I'm gonna take you up to our special place. Now, you love that place, don't you? Okay, we're just gonna lay low for a little while. All right, and then it's gonna be back out on the road again. We're gonna send that tape all over the country, baby. Huh? And then we're gonna be bigger than Bonnie and Clyde, huh? Huh? Come on, just you and me, baby. You and me. Bridget. I heard you, Lenny. I went to our special place. the girls and make them cry, you're kind of jumping the gun a little bit here. <laughs> it's better. Hey! How you two lovebirds doing back there? Fine. Love road trips. Cheer up. It's okay. Bridget and I got married. Well, it was a beautiful way. Isn't it, baby? Yeah. Come on. Mm. So, uh, where are you taking us? You ask a lot of questions. Well, you don't learn anything if you don't ask questions. Okay. I think I might kill you both. And again, you ask stupid questions, you get a stupid answer. Yeah. 
Not doing so good, Bridget. Come on, Bridget. I can have you at the hospital in just a few minutes. Just shut up! You want to die for this guy, Bridget? Huh? Is that what you want? Easy now, lover boy. Well, we don't have to worry about that little problem anymore. Look, she caught her last wave, dude. <laughs> She's dead. <laughs> The trail's getting too cold. Look, we got an APB out on the black van. If they are anywhere in this town, we're going to find them. Detective Chase? Yeah. OK. I'll be right there. Where? They found the girl. Where? A lifeguard found her. She's OK. She's shaking, but she's OK. Come on. Now, I don't want any more trouble out of you. Seems how we're family, I don't want to have to keep on punishing you. I'll be a good boy. You do that. Wow. Oh. Man. You okay, pumpkin? Yeah. Come here. Let it go here. Here you go. Yeah. That girl. Yeah. <laughs> you love this place, don't you? That's right. This is our special place, huh? Huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. We looked out over this cliff and we said I do to each other. And you kiss me. You love her? Yeah. You and I said that. Mm -hmm. We were never going to leave each other. Mm -hmm. You and I said we were going to stay together forever, no matter what. Because you and me, baby, we are a team. Just like, just like in Bonnie and Clyde, baby. You okay, Bridget? You okay? Mm -hmm.
found her about here? Okay. All right, thanks a lot. Sue, this is Detective Chase. I'm Mick, Joey's brother. Can you tell us anything? If it wasn't for Joey, I never would have gotten away. I thought I was dead for sure. I don't know how I hit the water and not the rocks. Diving in high school, but... You're a very lucky girl. Yeah. I wish I knew the area better. It was a bluff by the ocean. I said it was their special place. Does look familiar? Mick. That's it. That's the place. It's police property. You stole it. Hey, so shoot me. I thought it might come in handy. I was right. Look, I can get a chopper up in here in half an hour. No, no, car is quicker. This is Dead Man's Bluff. It's five miles from here. Come on. You stay warm. You did it! You killed her! I loved her, and you killed her! I told you to rob the store and not get a shot! Now I'm gonna teach you what it's really like to lose some money in life. Good news, it's gonna be a star, Joey. Everybody's gonna see you. They're gonna see you die, but they're gonna see you. They're gonna play this on every station in the country. Of course, a real live execution, Joey. And we're gonna do it, just me and you. I'm gonna film it. It's brilliant. And your mother and your brother and everybody you love is gonna watch it on the 6 o'clock news. <laughs> live and in person, Joey Barrett. Is dead. You ready? Can everybody see little Joey Barrett? Looks kind of scared, doesn't he? You know, he really do look scared. I mean, he's lynched. I think he really is scared. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I will begin the death sentence of Joey Barrett. I promise. Ten. Nine. Eight. Where was I? It's a joke, Joey. Lighten up. Nine. Whatever. Six. Five. Four. Three. I sweat. Do you know about the girl that was with me? She's okay. She's okay. Okay. Oh. It's one of those times I'm really glad I have a big brother. <laughs> you must know this. Tie. We'll be right back. Oh, oh, look at that one. Oh. Hey, how about these two? What two? What two? The two walking towards you. That's Annie and Sue. Annie said we'd find you two here. 
Hey, Annie, um, aren't you supposed to be at the shop selling stuff? No problem. I put up a sign at the store that said I'd be back in an hour. Sue and I did some shopping. I'm glad. They're having a great sale. K5. How'd you guess? We're geniuses. So have you eaten? Yeah, a couple of times. I'll buy you lunch. Hey, you're supposed to buy me lunch. I'll buy you lunch. I don't have to be back at the store for another half an hour. I know, you gotta sign up. Okay, where you wanna take me? Well, depends on how much money you have. Let's go fishing. Next, on High Tide. Yeah. Great news, Dee Dee brought her cousin. Is there some place I can get a beer around here? We got no reports of any dead bodies today. I know what I saw. They're after me. They got her. Joey, what are we gonna do? She's just a little girl. Where's that food? You promised me food. What's Mr. D gonna get here and take care of this kid? If you don't shut up, I'll do you myself right here. What difference does it make? You're gonna kill us anyway. Uh, excuse me. What can I do for you? Actually, I've got this little problem, see? Stay tuned for TV2 Eyewitness News, here on Channel 38.